Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's I, Solomon, and today we're actually be talking about the market being down. Now, you guys have been asking me quite a bit about flux making methods and stuff like that. That's my next video you guys want to see from me. Now, technically, I can't do those right now because there is no market and I can't really show you fair pricing. But you can actually make flux from the market being down. Now, how is that possible if you cannot sell anything? Well, you can actually join the trade chat and try there and spend 20 minutes spamming constantly and you know it's a pain for me but if you enjoy something like that cool you can actually make a lot of flux because people don't know pricing and if you know pricing you could easily stock up on merch now and as soon as this stuff goes live you can dump it in there and make a lot of flux kind of it's a risky but you can definitely do it so what's the real way to how can you make flux technically right now the point of it is is to stock up on as much supplies as possible right now now, I don't mean going buying stuff. Stock up on stuff that people need, crafting mats, stuff like that. People, it's not in the market. They're willing to buy it. So right when that market goes live, people are gonna be buying so much stuff. You have like um, cupcakes, you have uh, the wood, I forget what it's called, uh, pearls, uh, stellar souls, pentasols, stuff like this, guys. Even mounts, even low-end mounts that cost like 30 or 40K, might be worth up to 100k because there's going to be a high demand for them because there's going to be a lot of it's the market's been down for over a week that i know of so people are going to be needing these they're going to be willing to pay whatever's in there because yes the current items that are still in the market you can't do anything about it right they're still they're kind of like stuck in the limbo kind of thing which is cool but there is a lot of stuff going on and now there's been one huge change that you guys might have not noticed if you're a newer player and that is going to be the forged fragments from the crystalline gear that you get from like the U8, U9, U10. Now, what would make those go up in price? Hmm. Leviathans now take a key when you complete them to get loot. It takes 10 of those keys, right? Those fragments were only right down to like maybe 200 each. I can guarantee you when the market goes live, those are going to skyrocket probably to like five or 600 each. So now that, that is just one of the ways that you can make a lot of flux. What do you think people are doing with the lithe and mounts right now? They're they're not selling them, right? No, so they're not selling in the market, so they can't buy them. And it's too hard to trade in trade chat. They're not going to spam them. They're going to form to other. So that is another way you can make a lot of flux. Now that's a high end roller stuff. If you're not rich, you're not flipping Leviathan mounts. It's like a, I'm currently sitting on one right now that I'm holding on to, and I'm gonna sell when the market goes live because I know I can dump it for a lot as soon as that market goes up because someone's gonna be willing to pay it. Now, what does this mean for low end players? Low end players need supplies now. They need so many little mounts and costumes and stuff. They're willing to pay anything because they don't know the market. I, I don't. I'm not saying rip lower end players off and trade chatter like that. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is there's still ways to make so much flux from this. Like say Nitro Ore. Nitro Ore usually runs what? 96 to 102 on average. If you go in trade chat right now and spam buying all Nitro Ore 85 a piece, I can guarantee you someone is going to sell it to you because they're in a hurry to sell. Now that's like a 15 flux each thing. If you buy 5k, you see what I'm saying? You're making quite a bit of flux. This kind of all goes back to a flipping guide. If you kind of know what's going on, as soon as the market goes live, you're gonna make a lot of money. You're gonna you're gonna be make a lot of flux. What do you think credit pouches are gonna do right now? They're gonna go crazy. They absolutely are, because everyone that ran out patron right now cannot buy patron with flux. There's no way to buy it, right? You need credit pouches. You can't buy the credit pouches because they're in the market. So, does that mean credit pouches are gonna dump or are they gonna go up? Uh, it can go both ways. I have a feeling that more people are gonna be buying credit pouches than actually selling them. So I think credit pouches are gonna skyrocket. So if you are planning on buying credit pouches, I would buy them, uh, set on them as fast as possible. Do not do anything. As soon as the market goes up, dump them. Maybe wait one day. It's kind of risky, but I think maybe at the one day point, I think they're even gonna go even higher because People are going to rise the market because when the market goes back up, they're not going to instantly know the market's up. It's going to take a couple hours, maybe a day for everyone adjusting. Hey, the market's back up. So that's definitely a way to make a lot more flux for your buck if you plan on paying a win. But a lot of this is, like I said before, guys, it just comes back to flipping, knowing the prices of items. Low end crafting items are going to skyrocket, guys. I'm telling you guys, they are going to skyrocket because people have been waiting like, I mean, as of right now, over a week. So can you imagine if it goes two weeks? What's that gonna do? 
like the fey dust, um, all this stuff, pumpkins, anything that you think is so like worth nothing is going to skyrocket. People are going to be willing to pay whatever you want. Now, this is going to bounce back out. Though This isn't going to last forever, guys. This is a short-term flux-making method, guys. I'm not going to tell you how much you can make or anything like that because it's all on you and how fast you are and if you know what prices of items. And I don't want to give you guys prices because I don't want to give you guys false hope on anything. But this is what I'm doing. I'm currently setting on a lot of supplies and I'm going to keep stocking them up. If I see a good deal in trade where someone's just in a rush to get them, I'm going to snag it up instantly. I'm going to buy it and I'm going to just sit on it. When a market goes live, I'm going to dump it and make a lot of flux. Now, it's tough. If you don't have a lot of flux to do this right now, it's kind of not for you. I feel like you would struggle, but this is just what I would say to do. It kind of gave you guys something to look forward to. I mean, I know the market's down. It sucks. It really sucks. If you're in that point where you need to buy a lot of stuff and you can't get it, it sucks. But this does have positives to it. Um, hopefully, uh, Game Ago will realize, hey, this really affected my community for a, like a week or two. Let's give them a reward. I'm hoping for a dragon effigy, but I, you know, I can't get my hopes up. More than likely, we're going to get like some empowered gem boxes or some crap like that. But anyways, guys, I know this video is kind of different and it's not really directing you the right way, I guess. But it's it's all I could give you right now until the market comes back up. I do have several flux making message guides coming out. I just I can't physically do them right now until the market comes back up to show you guys. So if you guys did find this video useful in any way, hit that like, hit that sub, and I will catch you guys in the next one.